James Mangold is going to direct a star, write and direct a Star Wars movie. James Mangold is writing and directing a Star Wars movie. Barring creative differences. Barring creative oh. differences or scheduling conflicts to be determined. <laughs> this guy, I will say, is a top five director in the business today. I think he's top five. This is the guy who made one of the top three greatest comic book movies in history in Logan. He made one of my favorite movies the past bunch of years, Ford v. Ferrari. If you guys did not see Ford v. Ferrari, you need to see it. He, it's fantastic. He did one of the most underrated Tom Cruise movies ever in Night and Day. That was a really a fun movie. That's a fun movie. And it does not get the attention. He directed what I think is my, I think the best Western made since Unforgiven, 310 to Yuma. It's perfect. It's it's a perfect it's Western. A perfect I love that movie so much. He did Walk the Line. He did Identity. He did Girl Interrupted. He did what I think might be, might be Sylvester Stallone's greatest acting performance ever in Copland. James Mangold is the shit. All right. And by the way, he's got a little Indiana Jones movie coming out which we're going to talk about here in just a little bit. And they have announced, they brought him on stage. James Mangold is now going to go do a Star Wars movie. And I love the setting of it. This comes to us from the folks over at Star Wars Newsnet, who quoting the rap said this, the rap caught up with James Mangold to uncover some new details on the project in which he is revealed. He will also write the film with an all new set of characters. He says he's been working on the project for a couple of months under the code name Star Wars Zero, as the film will tell the origin of the Force and the First Jedi. Mangold also added that fans should not expect this to be a Star Wars film from the Stone Ages, despite it being set 25,000 years in the past. During the showcase panel, Lucasfilm unveiled several new eras. Of, uh, several new eras. Mangold's film will take place during the dawn of the Jedi era, which takes place 25,000 years before A New Hope. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy described it as a biblical epic. All right. Let's unwrap this a little bit. I've always said, if you're going to do something that is prequel-ish, go way in the past. So that way you don't have any handcuffs. You don't have to worry about continuity. You don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff, right? Go at least a couple hundred years. Well, they're going 25,000 years in the past. So, okay, check, great. That sounds great to me. A whole new set of characters, check, great. Listen, I love my Star Wars characters, but I am getting kind of sick and tired of every time we do a Star Wars anything, we have to run into eight characters we already knew. So a whole new setting, whole new story, whole new set of characters. With James freaking Mangold writing and directing. This is a dream, which is why I'm 100% sure that by June, we're going to find out it's not happening. But for now, I'm going to hold on to what little joy I have left in my heart. Because this is fan freaking tastic This is, this could, I can't imagine. The only thing that could have topped this for me is if they said Steven Spielberg was directing it. But other than Spielberg, the greatest filmmaker of all time. Terminal baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my face with that. <laughs> James Mangold doing this is nothing short of fantastic. I, I am so excited about this. Now, I will say the one bit of apprehension maybe I have a little bit is that while I love they're going that far back into the past, I am a little nervous about the, the idea of looking at the origin of the Jedi and the start of the Force and all that kind of stuff. Because... Sometimes we don't want to know what ingredients are in the secret sauce. You know, sometimes there's things that we, as an audience, it's just best that we don't know or that we don't have to explore or we don't have to get definitive answers to that because then we end up with midichlorians. Ugh. God, I feel like I have heart palpitations just when I say that word. But again, not if anybody's going to do it and do it great, it's going to be James Mangold. I, I'm just saying my one slight apprehension is it would have been nice maybe say if it was like, I don't know, like 100 years after the formation of the Jedi Order. I, I, I don't know. But again, if anybody's going to take this and make something really great out of it, it's James Mangold. Um, again, it, it doesn't matter... If you can put the greatest filmmakers in the world and all this kind of stuff, you can still end up with a bad movie. This could end up being a bad movie. I highly doubt it, but it could. 
But I'll tell you what, this to me is worth getting really excited about. And this is the single best piece of news that's come out of Star Wars Celebration so far. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this. What are the things that are standing out to you about it? I mean, for the most part, I'm really jazzed about this, but everyone does have a bad day at the office. So we're hoping that this is more, you know, 310 to Yuma than Kate and Leopold. Right. All right. I like I'm Kate and Leopold. You. Oh my gosh, I'm really? Kidding. Yeah, I did. I like for Kate For you, Leopold. that makes sense. For you, I was like, I was, what? I, <laughs> I like Kate and Leopold. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, but she dated the great, great grants. The time paradox of it bothers me very much. You hate time travel. I do, yeah. What the hell? I know. I know. You're wild, man. Kate but... Leopold's the exception. <laughs> That in Star Trek Four. That's I it. I mean, I mean, Hugh Jackman's real pretty in it. So yes, I'll give he you is. That. He's a gentleman. But I'm overall really, really excited about this if this comes to fruition. Right. The best thing that came out of Star Wars Celebration is that we are putting movies back into the Star yes. Wars film. Allegedly. Right? So supposedly. I'm hoping we have them because I love James Mangold's work. I think he's so, so great. I think he does really, really intricate character work when he does get the opportunity to write scripts. So I feel pretty confident about this. I'm really excited to see what he does and how he expands on the lore. Hopefully it comes to fruition. I'm going to throw out one little piece of daydream here. Okay. Just going to point this out. James Mangold has worked with Hugh Jackman no less than three different times, mm -hmm. including make one of the greatest comic book movies ever made. Kate and Leopold? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit above Logan is Kate and Leopold. Of course, made by uh, Dark House Studios yeah. uh, was, the name of the, uh, was the name of the comic book company, the Kate and Leopold. Very unknown, very yeah, under the radar. So indie. Comic book publisher. Um, imagine Hugh Jackman in a Star Wars movie. Dude. Imagine Hugh Jackman in a Star Wars movie. I mean, that would be pretty great. Hey, he's worked with Tom Cruise. Maybe, maybe Tom Cruise. He's worked with Chris Hemsworth. Maybe uh, Chris Hemsworth could pop up in there. Mm -hmm. Although he's he's taking a backseat to acting yeah. right now. But the Hugh Jackman one, that's You're going to be really be. choosy about your projects moving forward, though. Doing a project with James Mangold that happens to be in the Star Wars universe, that could be one that, that you make room for. Now, that, what, what happens, though, if Indiana Jones isn't so hot? Ooh, well, like all good point. that's that's a huge qu thing. That actually is was something I was going to talk about a little bit later. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take the window. Because clearly, <laughs> this isn't this isn't one of those situations where some director is doing a big movie, so another studio hires them. They've seen Indiana Jones and the Dial of that's Destiny. That's true. That's they've true. seen it. Yeah, they've they've seen it a year ago. I don't think Kathleen Kennedy right? has though, because she still needs to tell him that it didn't work. So. Yeah. So it is, to me, this is a very encouraging thing about Indiana Jones because they've got that, that movie's been done forever. Yeah. So they know exactly what they've got with Indiana Jones. And they went, yeah, we got to get you on Star Wars. Is this through Lucasfilm too, Indiana yes. Jones? Yes, Indiana okay, Jones so then, is a Lucasfilm So property. then there again. That's why they just dropped yeah. the trailer for it at, right. they, but we'll get we'll get into that yeah, in a yeah, second. Yeah, but I'm saying that, that gives me hope that there won't be creative differences because this is through Lucasfilm. Yeah, so here's, but you know, uh, whatever. I, I, I'm not going to believe this movie's actually going to happen until it actually happens. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Like, obviously, I am incredibly excited about this. I think this is the best news we've heard coming out of Star Wars uh, since we heard Kevin Feige was going to do a Star Wars movie. Oops, which isn't happening anymore. So mm -hmm. we can't have nice things. But still, for now, I'm just going to enjoy this. What do you think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. And there's no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. You'll be feeling like Gordon frickin' Ramsay in no time. And guys, look, we're always looking for more ways to save money. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I've told you guys before, Anne and I love using HelloFresh. Not only is it really easy to put together fantastic looking and tasting meals, but it's also a lot of fun and you get this really great sense of accomplishment when you're looking at this prepared dish that you've made with your own hands. So go to HelloFresh.com campia50 and use the code 
CAMPIA50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com slash CAMPIA50 and using the promo code CAMPIA50 for 50% off your first box ships free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.